Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play the main guitar solos from the classic ZZ Top song, Cheap Sunglasses. Now when I say the main guitar solos, I'm talking about the two that are in the middle of the song. I may come back and do the outro solo at some point, but you let me know down below if that's uh, something you wanna see or not. In my opinion, when it comes to the outro, that's where you should be improvising and jamming and having fun, but that's just my opinion. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is play the guitar solos for you slowly with the tabs on the screen. That way the more advanced players can get through this more quickly. Then after that, for everyone else, we'll break it down note by note. Let's go. Alright, here's section one of solo one at normal and then slow speed. Let's break that up into two boxes. In the first one, we play... Now before I break that up note by note, let's talk about the tone here. I'm probably using too much gain, too much distortion uh, when I listen back to the original recording. Billy Gibbons was using a very dynamic guitar tone for this first solo where he could pick softly and it would be really quiet. He could pick hard and dig in and it would distort and break up. That's kind of a, a hard thing to replicate with the Line 6 Helix processor that I'm using for recording. So I'm just trying to pull back on the gain more than I normally do. Um, I've also got the volume on both of the pickups which are being used at the same time. I've got that rolled back a little bit, and then I've got the tone pulled back halfway. Uh, but you'll need to experiment and figure out what guitar tone works best for you. All right, so that first box, we're going to start with 10 on A, followed by 8, 10, 10 on D. And notice I added some vibrato there. Then we're going to play quieter and palm muted on the D string 10, 8, 10, and then 8G, 10D. Let's tie all those notes together and play that first box again. One more time. Then the second box we'll play slowly. So 
So we start with 10th fret of A string, palm muted, and then 8, 10 on D. Now, that palm muting there for that first note, you're gonna notice throughout this lesson that I'm gonna get very granular with the details here. I'm gonna, I try to get every little nuance and inflection in the playing. You want, if you wanna simplify it, you certainly can, but I'm gonna show you every little aspect of every note. Again, we've got 10th fret of A palm muted followed by 8, 10 on D. Then eight on D, quickly hammer back onto 10, okay? You don't wanna linger on that eighth fret note like, you wanna come out of it quick. Let's play what we have so far on the second box. One more time. Then we'll play eight on D, and then 10, nine, eight on A, and then slide down to six, bend up a quarter step. step. Okay, let's tie everything together in that second box and play it slowly. Now the bend at the end there, it's, it's small. It could even be less than a quarter step. It's just a little, tiny little bend in the note. Now we're gonna tie both of those boxes together and play section one of solo one uh, slowly and then at normal speed. Let's move on to section two of solo one. Here's section two of solo one at normal and then slow speed. So we're gonna break it up into two boxes and the first we'll play. So we start with 10 on the A string palm muted. And then on the D string, eight followed by 10 two times. So far. Then we're gonna play 10 again on the D string. Hold it for a little bit, pull off to eight, hammer back onto 10. And when you hammer back onto 10, it's a kind of a palm muted note. <laughs> it's almost like you hammer back onto 10 and then palm muted as you're hammering onto it, if that makes sense. Let's tie all those notes together in that first box and play it slowly a couple times. Then in the second box, we're going to play slowly. So we start on the A string, palm muted, 8th fret, hammer on to 10, and then 8 on D. Okay, first three notes are palm muted. Then we'll play 10 on D and G, and then 8 on D, so far in that second box. And then on the A string, 10, 9, 8, slide down to 6. And then we're going to hammer on, without picking it, to the 8th fret of the low E string, palm muted. It's kind of faint in the mix. Okay, a lot of people missed that last note. Let's tie all those notes together in the second box and play it slowly couple times. All right, let's tie both of those boxes together and play section two of solo one slowly and then at normal speed. Let's move on to section three of solo one. All right, here's section three of solo one at normal and then slow speed. Let's break it up into two boxes and in the first one we'll play slowly. So we're gonna start on the A string, eighth fret, followed by six eight on D, and then eight again vibrato. Let's play what we have so far in that first box. And then a lot of times I see people miss this next note. Um, they don't put it in their tabs, they don't play it, uh, but it's in there very faintly. It's the sixth fret of the G string, and you're bending up a half a step, okay? And it's kind of, it's kind of muted. 
I tend to pick it with my finger. <laughs> then in the second box, we'll play. So we start by playing the eighth fret of the G string and bending up a full step. But at the same time you hit that note, you're gonna hit the D string like as a little scratch to accompany it, okay? Think of it almost as a rake into the note. <laughs> Just a little rough edge on that note that you can hear on the original recording. And then a string scratch on the G string. And then eighth fret of D. Another string scratch on the G string. Eight on D. So far, that second box. And then six of G, eight of D. And then a little slide up. Let's tie all the notes together in that second box and play it slowly a couple times. A lot of times you'll see it tabbed wherein you slide from 8 to 10 at the very end. Just go with what feels right. Now let's tie both of those boxes together and play section 3 of solo 1 slowly and then at normal speed. Okay, let's move on to section 4 of solo 1. Here is section four of solo one at normal and then slow speed. Okay, let's break it up into two boxes and in the first one we play. So it's 10 on A palm muted followed by on the D string 8, 10, 10. Hold that note for a little bit, then you're going to play 8 on D, hammer to 10, palm muted, and lightly. And then 10 on D, very light. It's so hard to hear in the mix, but it's there. Okay? <laughs> you can even skip that last note if you want. Here's that first box all tied together. Then in the second box we play slowly. So on the A string, it's 8, hammer to 10, palm muted, and then 8 on D, okay, 8, 10, 8. And then 10 on D, pull off to 8, so far in the second box. And then on the A string, 10, 9, 8, slide down to 6. And then 8 on E, slide down. Let's play the second box slowly. Now we're going to tie both of those boxes together and play section four slowly and then at normal speed. All right, let's move on to section five, the final section of the first solo. All right, here's section five of solo one at normal and then slow speed. Let's break it up into two boxes, and in the first one we play slowly. And yes, I did the on purpose, that little slide there, because it's in the mix. You can skip it if you want. All right, so we're going to start with the fifth fret of the E string palm muted, followed by 3 5 on A. Then we repeat that without any palm muting, so it's 5 on E and then 3 5 on A. Add vibrato. Here's what we have so far. And then you pull that note off to the third fret of A, okay? Again. And then there's a little string scratch or slide. You can hear the fingers sliding on the strings. <laughs> Skip it if you want. All right, there's, here's that first box again, slowly. <laughs> then 
then in the second box we play so it's five on E followed by three five on A add vibrato and then you're gonna pull off to three and then you're gonna hammer on to the fifth fret of um, the E string without picking it and it's palm muted okay so far that second box again and then you're gonna play third fret of A palm muted hammer on to five add vibrato let's do everything in that second box together slowly one more time now we're gonna tie both of those boxes together and play section five of solo one slowly and then at normal speed. Okay, let's move on to solo two. All right, here's section one of solo two at normal and then slow speed. Let's break it up into two boxes, and in the first one we play slowly. We start with the eighth fret of the A string and bend it up about one half step. And then on the A string, eight and six, six being palm muted, eight on E, so far. And then eight on A, slide up to 10, add vibrato, and then pull off to eight. Let's tie everything together in that first box and play it slowly a couple times. Then in the second box we play slowly. So we start palm muted, 10th uh, fret of A, quickly slide to 8, and pull off to 6. Okay. So the movement from 10 to 8 is quick. And then pull off to 6. And then 8 on A twice. Pull off to 6. So far in that second box, slowly. And then eight on A, quickly slide to 10 vibrato. Let's tie everything together in that second box. Again. Now we're gonna tie both of those boxes together and play section one of solo two, slowly and then at normal speed. Let's move on to section two of solo two. Here's section two of solo two at normal and then slow speed. Let's break it up into two boxes, and in the first one, we're going to play slowly. So it's 8 on D palm muted followed by 10 on D and then 10 on A. And then 8 on D twice. 10 A quickly slide to 8. So far in that first box, slowly. And then with pinch harmonics, we're going to play 6 on A followed by 8. And then 8 again with a slight bend up and then eight regular vibrato. Okay. Let's tie everything together in that first box now and play it slowly a couple times. Then in the second box we play 
Slowly. So it's six, eight on A, followed by eight on E, palm muted. And then eight on A again, kind of a semi-pinch harmonic, bend it up and down half a step, and then vibrato. Pull off the six. So far in that second box. And then we're going to hammer on to the eighth fret of the E string palm muted without picking it. <laughs> All right, let's tie it together in that second box, slowly, a couple times. All right, let's tie both of those boxes together and play section two of solo two one more time, slowly and then at normal speed. All right, let's move on to section three of solo two. Here's section three of solo two at normal and then slow speed. Let's break it up into two boxes, and in the first one, we're going to play slowly. So you're going to play eight on low E, followed by six on A, palm muted, and then eight on A. And then six on D, followed by eight on D, at vibrato. So far. And then after that vibrato, you're going to pull off the six and hammer on to eight palm muted, okay? It's kind of faint in the mix. Here's that first box again, slowly a couple more times. Then in the second box, we'll play slowly. So the first three notes are palm muted. It's six on A, hammer on to eight, and then six on D. And then eight on D twice, add vibrato. So far in that second box. And then you slide that note up to 10. And then eight on G, palm muted, it's really light. I, I tend to use my uh, finger to pick that note <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, you can certainly use a pick if you want. Let's tie both of those boxes together and play section three of solo two one more time, slowly and then at normal speed. All right, let's move on to section four of solo two. Here's section four of solo two at normal and then slow speed. So we're going to break it up into two boxes, and in the first we'll play slowly. So we start with this little string scratch on D that a lot of people miss, it's kind of faint in the mix. Followed by 8 on A, hammer to 10, palm muted. And then 8 on D, so far. And then 10 on G, add vibrato. Then we're going to palm mute 8 on A, hammer on to 10, add vibrato. <laughs> Let's tie all those notes together in that first box and play it slowly. Then in the second box we'll play slowly. Now at the beginning of box two you can see a little string scratch on A. You're really just kind of raking past that string to hit the eighth fret of, of D. Okay, then after that you're going to play 10 on A, quickly slide to 8, and then pull off the 6. So far in that second box. 
And then eight on A, bend a half a step up. Eight on A, pinch harmonic vibrato. So far on the second box, slowly. And then you pull off from that note to six. And then eight on E, hammer onto it without picking, slide down. <laughs> Let's tie everything together in that second box and play it slowly a couple times. Now we're going to tie both of those boxes together and play section four of solo two slowly and then at normal speed. Let's move on to section five of solo two, the final section. Here's section five of solo two at normal and then slow speed. We'll break it up into two boxes and in the first we play slowly. So we start by playing five of G and five of B, bend them up together about a half step. Classic little double stops here. And then five on G and B stationary. And then three on G palm muted. So far. Then we play five on G and B again. Uh, and then you're gonna bend up and down. You hold it for a little bit before you bend it. And then when you pull off, I know I tabbed it where you pull off and you're only hearing the third fret of B. <laughs> Don't worry about that. If you pull off to both third fret of G and B, you're going to be fine. As opposed to... It's kind of hard to get that. Just the pulling off to the B string, but that's what Billy did. Whether it was intentional or not, probably not. Um, and then after that, we play fifth fret of G and then three of B ad vibrato. Here, let's play that first box slowly again a couple times. Then in the second box, we play slowly. So it's five on G, five on B. Bend them up, bring them back down, pull off to the third fret of each. And then 5G, 5B bend up. And then 5G, 5B stationary. 3G, 3B. So far in that second box. And then we're going to do these little <coughs> string scratch slide down things. So I do approximately D and G followed by A and E slide down. <coughs> Something like that. <laughs> Let's tie all that together and play section five of solo two slowly and then at normal speed. All right, that was my video showing you how to play the main guitar solos from the classic ZZ Top song, Cheap Sunglasses. If you found it helpful or informative, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to catch more videos like this in the future, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will attempt to answer them as time allows. Until next time, rock on.